I'm going to miss a lot uh, about it, to be honest. Um, <clears throat> you know, like I've said a lot, you know, my, my journey here has been been crazy. Um, you know, just thinking back to how it started and just the, uh, you know, the ups and downs and, and everything. And, you know, I've just... <clears throat> This university and fan base has just meant a lot to me and uh, just sticking with me, you know, and believing in me uh, no matter what. And just the amount of support that I've received, um, you know, through my injuries and, and all that type of stuff, it just uh, it, it means a lot to me. And, you know, throwing on top of the all the, the football stuff, too, um, with – you know my relationship with with Coach Kleiman and and Coach Snyder bringing me in here and there's there's just so much to to name honestly what I'll all the things that I'll miss uh, truly but you know I'm just I'm excited for this opportunity that we have this weekend uh, to finish out on a on a really high note at home and we're playing a really really good football team that uh, is coming off a really big win and uh, it's going to be a great challenge for us so it's a uh, it's an exciting opportunity for us to to finish this. Uh, you know, um, season at home out on a on a high note. Cameron, on Saturday, Kansas State tweeted out that you have the most wins of any quarterback since 1990, the problem being they didn't keep starters prior to that. Um, however, the program before Bill Snyder rarely won 23 games in a four-year period. Um, so you might be the most, have the most starts as a, for a winning quarterback, whatever, uh, in the history of this football program. Is that part of the record? Yes, it is. Um, you know, somebody uh, told me that after the game, and you know, it, it's it's wild. Um, you know, and obviously our our rich history here of uh, of football and the amount of success we've had, and you know, to to be in that that category um, is obviously very very special. And you know, there's there's a lot that that goes into that. Um, <clears throat> I think I stated after the game, you know, I've had some really, really great coaches, some really great players around me that have uh, have helped me win some football games. And uh, it's never just been about me. And um, I'm very grateful for the teammates and coaches and the support that I've had uh, over my time here. And, you know, my main goal since the day that I've stepped on campus is to win games. And, uh, you know, I don't really you know, care what it looks like or, you know, whatever. Uh, I'm going to do whatever it takes to win. And that's something I've always taken pride in and um, always hung my hat on is I believe I'm a winner. And, uh, you know, I feel like my my resume, uh, you know, shows that. And, and you know, sometimes it's, it's not always, <clears throat> you know, the scoreboard to me doesn't always dictate a win or a loss. Uh, I feel like that just the amount of adversity that I've faced here and my ability to, to stand tall and, and, and fight back whenever I've been struck in the face a little bit, you know, that's that's been my biggest win for me personally. And uh, to, to come back and, and keep fighting and to have success and, you know, to, to get things rolling this last year uh, as of late, it's it's huge for – for myself and huge for our football team and our program and feel like that we just have a lot of confidence and um you know just seeing all of the hard work and and trust in the program and what our our core values are and what they mean and and just trusting the process and seeing things finally starting to click it's it, it's a really good feeling and we just got to continue to to do that moving forward I think they're they're very very good. Um, I think they have players all all across the board, um, and you can tell that they they play really well together. They're they're very physical. They fly to the football um, and they play with a lot of confidence. And I have a lot of guys that are are returning starters that have played there for a while, and you can just tell uh, this second year in their scheme uh, with the new coaching staff last year. That guys are are understanding the scheme and playing a lot of with a lot of confidence in that, and so 
uh, yeah, I mean, you watch the Oklahoma game. Oklahoma didn't do a whole lot on offense. And, um, you know, it's, it's going to be a great challenge for us. And, you know, we're, uh, we're excited for it. I mean, it's a great opportunity. It's a really good football team. And, you know, we believe that we're a really good football team. So it, it's going to be exciting. And uh, we're looking forward to this game. Yeah, well, yeah, I obviously I, I did some recruiting uh, in that aspect. And, <clears throat> you know, but at the end of the day, I knew I knew everybody's situation was different. And, um, you know, guys like Noah Johnson was an easy guy to, to get to come back. And, um, you know, the, the few other guys, it was kind of, you know, it wasn't like a deal that I was going to pressure anybody to make any decisions. It was just you know, throwing it in their mind, like, hey, like, we have unfinished business. And with the way that this season went, can't walk away with with it being this way. And like I said, understanding that everybody's situation is different. And uh, some guys are ready to move on. And the opportunities were, were the, ahead of them that were, were better for them. And so I couldn't fault them for, for whatever decision they made. But uh, whoever was deciding to come back I was we're going to give it all uh, for this last year and and we're going to finish on a high note and uh, you know I believe all of the all of our 60 year guys super seniors uh, are have done a great job as far as just providing leadership and demanding more out of out of uh, our teammates and and it's paid off you know and I think just having so much experience and in the program and in, in game experience and all that type of stuff, it just pays off over time and you can't simulate it. So uh, it's it's been really good for us. Well, how, how well is it like if you're going through senior day ceremony for the second time? Yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of weird. Um, it's kind of weird, um, <clears throat> especially because, you know, last year it was in the back of my mind that, you know, I was probably going to come back. And so I somewhat had to fake that it was – you know that <laughs> that that it was uh, um, my last one, but uh, <clears throat> but I was, that decision wasn't made uh, either. So, um, <clears throat> but I think you know, obviously last year we weren't able to have our families down there, and it was just a lot different than how it will be this year. And so to have a normal ceremony, and we have 32 seniors, which is a lot, which is awesome. So. Uh, I'll be excited to, you know, have my family down there and, you know, and for sure know that this is my last one. You know, it's it's obviously uh, it, it means a lot, so I'm excited for it. Make it any easier the fact that you kind of went through a dress rehearsal last year? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I you know, kind of know what to expect. And honestly, I, I spent a lot of time last year before the before the game just thinking about, you know, just what uh, what this last year was going to look like for me. And, um, you know, just kind of running through, it was, like you said, is kind of having an audition a little bit of, of what it was going to be like and the emotions and that type of stuff. And I feel like I'm a pretty, you know, deep thinker, thinker and, um, <clears throat> you know, just reflect a lot in moments like this. And I'm just very, very grateful for, you know, my coaches, uh, that I've had since fourth grade till now, and my family that supported me all all through the the whole way, and uh, my friends and, and teammates, and just so many people that have uh, been part of my life throughout this whole journey, and has never given up on me. You know, that's that's the biggest thing for me, and it's never been about you know proving the people that doubt me wrong. It's about proving the people that believe me right, and that's always you know, been my, my mindset. And I have a great group of people around me and supporting cast that I love very much. And it's going to be a special day. I got probably 50 to 60 family members coming in this weekend. So um, I'm very excited. And I know it's going to be a special weekend for, for my family as well. Noah Johnson talked about the revenge tour. What kind of sort of levity is that added 
into the season as well as a certain amount of focus? Yeah, I mean, that, that was the first thing that Noah said to me in my apartment two days after surgery. And he, he said, if you come back, I'm coming back, and this thing is going to be a revenge tour. And I didn't know quite know, you know, Noah says some things sometimes. I'm like, I don't know what that means, but it sounds cool. <laughs> and, um, you know, that's kind of been just our, our kind of mindset uh, throughout the off season and into the season. And it's kind of just stuck a little bit with our, with our team and our coaches. And uh, it just kind of gives you a mindset of what we're after and what we're chasing. And, um, you know, when, when times get hard, times were hard, uh, there in the middle of the season and just kind of had to, you know, look back at why we're here, why we came back. And, you know, having that revenge tour mindset is is very powerful. It's been very powerful for our team. And it's given us a spark and guys have, have kind of taken it and, and ran with it, which has been pretty cool to see.